Welcome to the presentation of our project, Differentiable Shadow Mapping for Efficient Inverse Graphics. Differentiable rendering has become a powerful tool in computer graphics and vision. It is used across methods in view synthesis, 3D generative models, and 3D reconstruction. Effects of global light interaction, like shadows or reflections, are currently reserved to ray tracing based differentiable renderers, despite the highly advanced state of real time graphics. We bridge the gap to real time graphics and bring shadows, as important part of global illumination, to rasterization based differentiable rendering. Our method is as general and efficient as a forward implementation of shadow mapping. It works with arbitrary mesh geometry, supports different types of light sources, and runs in real time. The resulting shadow derivatives can be used in any gradient-based optimization. Let us first recap how shadows are computed in a traditional rasterization pipeline. Suppose we have given a scene, which contains a single point light source. For some point X that is visible to our camera, we want to compute the visibility to the light source. This visibility information could then influence the shading of this point, such that it appears shadowed in the final image. Ray tracing pipelines compute visibility by sending rays to the light source and checking for obstructions on the path. An alternative to explicitly casting shadow rays is shadow mapping, which is a common technique in rasterization-based pipelines. The general idea is to construct a map that, given a direction, returns the distance to the closest point in the scene from the light source. To determine the visibility of point X, this shadow map is then queried with the direction from the light source to the point. If the distance stored in the shadow map is less than the distance to X, then X is occluded, otherwise it is visible. The efficiency of shadow mapping comes from the fact that the shadow map can be constructed by rendering from the point of view of the light. This uses the rasterization hardware to build the depth image. Standard shadow mapping suffers from self-shadowing artifacts that are caused by the discrete sampling of the scene. In this example, the point Y would appear shadowed, since the depth of point Z is stored in the discrete shadow map. These artifacts can be mitigated by biasing the depth away from the light source. However, choosing a suitable bias is generally difficult and depends on the scene. A more immediate limitation of shadow mapping in a differentiable setting is the binary visibility decision. Even if a point becomes visible after a small perturbation, the gradient does not inform about the change of visibility as it is zero almost everywhere. Various techniques have been suggested for dealing with discretization artifacts, many of which can be traced back to percentage closer filtering. Instead of computing the visibility for only one direction, the distance between X and the light source is compared to several values over a small neighborhood in the shadow map. These values are then averaged to get the final visibility. Notice that this visibility smoothly varies between 0 and 1, which results in soft shadow boundaries. More formally, percentage closer filtering computes an integral over a region of visibilities. This integral is different for each individual point X and therefore a costly operation. Approximations to percentage closer filtering first compute simple functions from the shadow map. These functions are then pre filtered once. The pre filtered functions are used to reconstruct the soft visibility per point. In practice, these simple functions will experience a series of spatial filters, from explicit filtering with some compact kernel to bilinear texture sampling. Since the shadow map and its derived functions will be discontinuous at object boundaries, the first filter in this series is an integral with a discontinuous integrand. This integral will not be handled correctly when automatic differentiation computes the derivative of its discretized form. Our key observation is that this setting is related to a fundamental challenge of differentiable rendering, the handling of visibility discontinuities. Many differentiable rasterizers apply smoothing, or anti-aliasing, to turn a point-sampled image into a smooth version. They explicitly track the effects of this smoothing operation, which permits computation of the derivatives. Placing the differentiable rasterizer at the beginning of the series of filters, therefore solves the challenges of differentiation. Notice that the integrand is smooth after the first filter. From the perspective of pre-filtered shadow mapping, the smoothing operation is yet another filter, 
which does not require any special treatment. Our method is therefore compatible with any pre-filtered shadow mapping approach. We demonstrate it using variance shadow mapping, which takes on a probabilistic view and sees the depth values in the filter support region as realizations of a random variable. The underlying probability distribution is captured using the first and second moments, which are built by filtering the shadow map and its square. Given a point x, the moments are used to derive an upper bound on the visibility probability. The visibility function of variance shadow mapping is a smooth function based on this upper bound. We verify our derivatives in a range of experiments and applications. In light estimation, we are given a single image of an object, illuminated by a set of light sources. The goal is to reconstruct the light positions only from this monocular input. We find that the optimization behaves robustly for varying numbers of light sources and shadow map resolutions. In shadow art, we find a shape that produces a desired target shadow under given illumination. We optimize whole collections of shapes and individual meshes. We also test various receiver geometries and camera angles. Since the visibility gradients are computed in real time, we also implement a shadow modeling scenario, where a user can interactively paint the target shadow. In pose estimation, we recover the translation and rotation of an object from a single input image. Lastly, given only a set of profile shadows of a person's face, we reconstruct the face geometry by optimizing the parameters of a 3D morphable face model. It is well known that variance shadow mapping suffers from light bleeding artifacts in areas of high variance. As an alternative, other pre-filtered shadow mapping techniques that do not suffer from these artifacts could be implemented in our framework. We have so far only considered directional, spot and omnidirectional point lights. It seems worth investigating if efficient differentiable shadows could be derived for area lights or image-based lighting by building on techniques from real-time graphics. Finally, shadows are only one component of global illumination. Effects like indirect illumination and reflections also contribute significantly to the realism of an image. Approximations to these phenomena could be investigated in the context of differentiable rendering. Thank you for your attention. Please visit our project page for more information.